so photosynthesis is basically a process you know by which plants make their own food we are so we are studying about nutrition we are studying about food for plants so this is the way by which plants make their own food with the presence of sunlight oxygen that is it takes carbon dioxide it takes Man, only green plants. plants only green plants correct good that you pointed out green plants it requires it has chlorophyll it take nutrients from the soil and also from what and also water from the soil and combining all these it may it does photosynthesis okay fine good so it is almost 706 we will carry on with today's session you know photosynthesis as i said we will be studying a little more in details today okay uh, this gentleman the scientist called charles reed barnes you know in 1893 he had actually discovered what is photosynthesis prior to this we did not know much about photosynthesis it is only when charles reed barnes did a lot of you know research he cut the leaves of plants he studied about stomata he put the stomata he saw the guard cell the soma stoma he saw chloroplast under the chloro uh, under the microscope and then he came to the conclusion that excuse me ma'am yes tell me ma'am to see guard cells they required a po powerful microscope or any simple microscope no they require very powerful microscope because to see the stomata only they you need my man simple microscope so to see the stomata you know in your science labs the microscope that you have may be a little more powerful than that they he took use very powerful microscopes to see the details that is there in the leaf because priscilla last time we had also discussed that leaf is the kitchen of the plant right leaf is the kitchen of the plant all the food is prepared in the leaf because you know the sunlight is trapped in the leaf the solar energy from the sun is trapped in the leaf by the chloroplast right the can can you explain photosynthesis i will i will explain one by one all of them just allow me some time i will explain now uh, even the nutrients you know that's there in the soil which goes from the soil also goes to the leaf water that is absorbed by the root the root hairs from the soil also goes to the leaves so each and everything carbon dioxide you know is taken from the stomata that also goes to the leaf once all the basic ingredients are prepared are ready that is when um uh, that is when the leaf has the process of photosynthesis mana but it is not necessary for the leaf to be green it is important that they should contain chlorophyll to make food yes unmana is right it should be it should have chlorophyll chloroplast only then it will be able to make food priscilla last time we had also studied there are certain plants which are red in color reddish brown in color but still they do photosynthesis why how because the chloroplast is hidden under the dark red color red color pigment of the plant similarly there are certain bluish green you know plants or algae which can do photosynthesis how because they have chlorophyll chloroplast under the blue green pigment it is dominant now photo means light synthesis means to put together that means with the help of light or in the presence of light it could be sunlight it is really good if it is sunlight there are certain plants which also uh, you know can do photosynthesis in very poor light as in if you uh, keep it maybe inside your room and switch on your bulb light inside your room then also it can do photosynthesis right but there are very few plants like this like the snake snake plant the spider plant you know there are very few plants who can do photosynthesis without sunlight most of the plants need sunlight to do photosynthesis so when plants or leaves make food in the presence of light they put together all the ingredients together to make food uh, food would be basically starch or whatever and you know they also expel oxygen and water they expel out they produce out that entire process is called photosynthesis right now 
Karthik, you wanted to ask what is photosyntax and pho photosynthesis? You know, it's nothing much. It's the same thing. It's just that the scientist, Mr. Charles Reed Barnes, had proposed. He had two options. We could either name it photosyntax or we could name it photosynthesis. So there were a lot of scientists sitting together. So they selected photosynthesis that from now on, this process will be named as photosynthesis because this literally, this word literally means photosynthesis. Okay, so that is how this is the origin of the word photosynthesis. Now going on to the next slide, <clears throat> a little more in details. That is the process of using the energy in sunlight. See, uh, there are a couple of things, you know, uh, which we need to, uh, you know, understand in the beginning. That is, energy cannot be seen. You can only feel the energy, right? The energy that comes from the sun, we cannot see that energy. We can only see the light. Sunlight we can see. I'll just give you a small example. For example, you had, uh, you know, uh, a lot of uh, a glass of milk. You had one uh, burger, right? Because you also had uh, pasta. And then you've been asked to run for one kilometer. You will get a lot of energy, right? So you got a lot of energy from the glass of milk and pasta and burger. That's the reason why you will be able to run for the next one kilometer. But could you see the energy? After having the food, the energy that was produced, you could not see the energy. You could only see the effect of the energy, that is, you could run. Right? Similarly, you know, sun, sunlight has certain energy called the solar energy. Solar energy cannot be seen. You know, it cannot be seen. It can be utilized. It is very beautifully utilized by the leaf. Now, we are going to study that today. Yeah. So, what happens is basically, as I said, you know, 90 to 95 percent of the plants, they need solar energy to, have, to uh, conduct photosynthesis. Right. So, along with sunlight, they need a few more things. They need carbon dioxide. They need water. They need nutrients. Along with these, th these four things, they can undergo the process of, um, you know, process of photosynthesis. In the presence also, they need chlorophyll. What happens is, is what we will discuss now. Priscilla, uh, have you understood what I tried to explain? Yes, ma'am. Okay, have you get, got a hang of, you know, because this is your first class, I hope you've got a hang of things. Okay, see, chemically speaking, you know, scientifically speaking, this is actually what happens in the case of photosynthesis. See, this is what I was saying, solar energy. You know, solar energy is something that cannot be seen. It can, we are only seeing the light. We are only seeing the sunlight. Correct. But there is energy within. So, in the air, there is carbon dioxide. Right? We breathe in oxygen. We breathe out carbon dioxide. So that carbon dioxide is there in the air. Plus, it requires water. How does it get water? When we water the plant. When we water the plants, the root, the root hairs, they absorb the water, they send it through the stem, and they send it through the leaf stalk to the leaf, ultimately to the guard cells and the vacuoles. So that Ma is how Yes, Karthik, tell me. Ma'am, when they receive water, then the uh, root then the roots have water in it. Ma'am, when they receive a water and the water is not dissolved. Water will not get dissolved in soil, no? Soil and water yes, do not mix. They are separate only. That's the reason why the roots are like sponge. You know, just like sponge absorbs water. Similarly, the root has very tiny, tiny hairs which are known as the root hairs. So the root hairs absorb water very smoothly, just like sponge. And okay, are, ma yeah, okay. So there are very thin capillaries, you know, very thin tubes inside the root. So through that tube, the water goes from the root 
to the stem. Again, in the stem also, there are very thin tubes. Through those tubes, it goes to the leaf. Just like when we drink water through a straw, how, what happens? Yes, Pushpal, this is what I was trying to explain. This is how, this is exactly what I was uh, trying to explain, the transport of water from the soil to ultimately to the leaf. Like when we drink water or any juice with the help of a straw, we have to, you know, suck. We have to put some pressure and suck. Through that tube, water goes from the glass to our mouth. Similarly, there are thin tubes in the root and in the uh, stem from the soil. When the water watering is done, the water transports from the root through the stem, through the leaf stalk, ultimately to the leaf. This is how water reaches the leaf. Yes, Unmana xylem. Xylem is a transport system. Those are thin tube-like structure which takes, which carries water. We will study about that in another chapter. Today we are studying photosynthesis, so I don't want to mix it up. Okay, now the process of photosynthesis happens here, correct? Where a lot of chemical changes happen to the water and to the carbon dioxide and through the chloroplast. After that what comes out is oxygen that we human beings take and what also comes out is glucose. C6H12O6 is the formula for glucose, right? Please write this down. This, this chemical formula is very important. Six molecules of carbon dioxide, six molecules of water undergoes photosynthesis and this produces C6H12O6 which is glucose and six molecules of oxygen.